uh, we're grieving as it is, so why would you do that to anybody, any family? So I'm very upset. Christopher Janes died December 8th. His family ordered a gravestone from Tri-State Memorials a couple weeks later and paid the nearly $3,500 bill in full with the cashier's check, with the stone being promised in February. We've called him numerous times. I mean, it's he just won't answer us. Kenner says they've had very little success. We went back to check on it to see how it was going, and he just kept saying, um, it's on the semi, it's in the storage unit, um, it's being engraved. I tried several times to get hold of the owner via phone. Thank you for calling Tri-State Memorials. We can't take your phone call at this time. So and in person. Today, this note was taped to the door, where a man named Jeff claims he ran into a money crunch as is working to resolve the issue. The Janes family isn't the only one having issues with Tri-State Memorials. The Auburn Police Department has received two complaints against the company this year, including one from Janes' family. The other one was filed in March. Both claim they haven't received their monuments. In both instances, officers advised the reporting parties this was a civil issue. The Better Business Bureau says situations like this are becoming more common. There's a lot of good trustworthy businesses, but I think it's more important than ever for people to really check out a company before they do any business with them, to be sure. Marjorie Stevens is the president of the BBB in Northeast Indiana. She says the best thing you can do is look up a business before handing them your money. The BBB always recommends to go online or give us a call so they can check out a business. You know, what kind of rating they have, what kind of business they've done, if there's any complaints against them. That's a step Kenner says she wished she did. I would have looked at his reviews before I gave him the money, but we were such a grieving family. I lost my brother and the last thing we thought was somebody would rip us off from a tombstone place. Kenner says Jeff at Tri-State Memorials left her a voicemail over the weekend, claiming he's getting a loan to finish the stone and it will be ready by Monday. I'm wondering in the back of my mind, is he going to do it right? Is he going to spell our name right? Is he going to put the date right? So, you know, I don't know until I see that tombstone.